everyone. Welcome to the community classroom. It's been a while. I just wanted to stop in and say hello to uh, everyone and also welcome to the new individuals who have joined the community classroom uh, since our last discussion. And I just wanted to touch on a few things for a moment. Uh, one thing that is coming up is the state of the world and the state of individuals who are in the world. And there has been so much focus on a number of things, including the current situation, uh, that some other things have gone by the wayside. And so one interesting notation is that there has been an increase in demand for psychologists and counselors um, to work during this time period. And part of that is because people are suffering. And a good part of the suffering comes from attempting to negotiate what is now uh, one of the most pathological existences that people have known in this lifetime. And, and so what's happening also is that individuals are having a difficult time negotiating this quote unquote new way of operating that some people actually identify as normal. And so that shows you the pathology of it right there. You've got individuals defining what is going on as a novel type of uh, normal and so novel has a couple of meanings and one meaning is new. Another meaning is fictitious. And so it means something that's not real, fabricated, not quite right. And so uh, humanity is dealing with this novel uh, situation that is couched in this idea of reality and uh, reality is relative. And so one of the things that I want to encourage you to do is to work on seeing the world for what it is, not what you want it to be, not what it was two years ago, but what exactly is the world right now without any rose colored glasses, without any uh, pessimism or optimism, just what is the reality that you know about the world and that you are operating in and co-creating at the current time and try to get in touch with what you understand to be truth. And so you have a number of people talking about being awake, but you have many people who are identifying themselves as awake, but in fact are walking around with blinders on. And uh, some of the tools that are being used to create a lot of the pathology have to do with things like delusion. People are encouraged to engage in delusion. And you should look that word up so that you get a, a really clear idea of what a delusion is. And so people are also heavily distracted and there's a lot of diversion going on with the distraction. And then you have all of this division and so everyone is divided. And so that's not the way that humanity is uh, meant to be. And so humanity, people are communal, communal animals, uh, communal beings. And so what is going on right now is there is this uh, dynamic of people being overly divided. Of course, individuals are their own individual selves. But at this current time, people are encouraged to uh, distrust others uh, without any reason often, um, simply because they are human and they are seen as uh, diseased and people are supposed to presume that all of these people, everyone, including self, is diseased. And so that creates a lot of pathology. And so internal pathology and then the sort of collective pathology that is at the societal level and also the global level. 
And so people really need to take some time and think about what it is they are seeing, what is real, and what's the meaning of what they are seeing. Because when people change reality and they change their vision in order to fit what they want the facts to be, then they are not operating in an optimal way. They are not functioning optimally. And in order for people to function optimally in this less than optimal uh, reality that is being negotiated right now, individuals really, really need to be open to seeing the world for what it is, seeing people for what they are, hearing what people are actually saying, what are people actually doing, looking to see if the words uh, align with the behaviors that you see from individuals, and also uh, trusting that when people tell you who they are, believe them. And so you have a number of people who are telling you who they are right now and a number of people who are not believing that because they don't want to deal with the reality that is being presented. And so, again, you are encouraged to start to work on seeing the world for exactly what it is. And that also means seeing self for what self is. We've spent centuries now living under all of these delusions. And so you see history now starting to uh, emerge in a different way. You see all of these things that are suddenly being discovered. Uh, you see all of these quote unquote truths being revealed. And it's hard to know the extent to which these truths are any more truthful and then the past things that now appear to be lies. And so you are again encouraged to, just as you look at the screen and you see the circular castle of Cornwall, you could look at that and see many things, but that's what that is supposed to be. And you are again encouraged to start to see past the fog and see what is and trust yourself. You will have individuals who will try to tell you that what you see is not what you see. It's sort of like the story, The Emperor's New Clothes. And in that story, only the little boy would admit that the emperor was walking down the street with no clothes on. All of the astute, learned adults uh, went along with this farce and pretended that the emperor had on clothing. And so oftentimes that's what you are encouraged to do is to pretend that the emperor has on clothing when you can clearly see that the emperor is walking down the street and is not clothed. And so be mindful of not letting other people uh, change your truth and your reality and your vision. Uh, no one can see what you see for you better than you can. Remember, knowledge is power. And hopefully you will have a wonderful day and week, the rest of the week, uh, dealing with not the new normal, but the new insight.